Hello everyone, welcome to Legacy Age Academy. In this video, we will be talking about tuberculosis and the issues related with the, the vaccination that is available for the tuberculosis from a very reputed multinational US organization or a pharma company called as Johnson & Johnson. Today's Hindu newspaper, we have an article about the Johnson & Johnson's patent that is being abolished by the Indian Patents Office. So in this video, we will be talking about tuberculosis and also the Indian pa Patents Act. We will be looking at two important terms in this video. One is the compulsory licensing and the other one is evergreening of the patents. Very important from the 2023 prelims point of view. Let's begin. <clears throat> As I've told you already, what is the context in which we are discussing this particular issue? Is that Indian Patents Office, you can see here, Indian Patent Office, has rejected the US pharmaceutical firm Johnson & Johnson's application in order to extend the patent given to the tuberculosis vaccination that is Bedakwai line. Okay, very important. Bedakwai line is a vaccination that is given against tuberculosis in India and till this point of time, that is till 2023, the company which manufactured Bedakwai line was Johnson & Johnson Pharma, a US based pharma company. And this company had patent which authorized this particular company had a monopoly in manufacturing these vaccines. So now as the Indian Patents Office has rejected the application to extend the patent given to this particular organization, what would be the impact? What would happen in a very short term? What would happen? You can see here by this time, probably most of you would have been heard about something called as generic medicine. Okay, I think you would be very much aware of the term generic medicine. Just, just taking an example, let's assume Bidakwai line as of now would be costing 85 rupees and the only company which manufactured this particular medicine or a vaccination was Johnson & Johnson. Now, as the Indian Patents Office has rejected its application for the extension of the patent, now this particular company, this particular company which had the monopoly has to divert its technology and any other company that is based in India, any other company that is based in India, remember, can manufacture this particular vaccine now for a very low cost. Okay, so the formula that is required to manufacture this particular vaccine will be given to any particular or any organization that is based in India. So this will be the outcome of this particular decision by the Indian Patents Office. So this is the impact on a short term. Now let's talk about, see, from the starting of the video, we are talking about patents, patents and patents. And what are these patents? Okay, as the name itself suggests, patents will give you, will give you an exclusive control, an exclusive control over the invention, over the invention or a thought process. Okay, so this particular in, in the example of the Johnson & Johnson, if you look at what is patents, so this particular patent will give an exclusive right for one particular pharma company in order to manufacture and say and sell this particular medicine. So this is about patents. Likewise, we have something called as trademarks. So you will have to know the difference between patent trademark and the copyright going forward for prelims 2023. I would classify this to be a very important current affairs topic because this is in news and you're just left with 64, 64, for three days for your uh, prelims exam going forward. So this is something that you will have to have a very good focus on. So this is something called as patent. And what are the laws that govern this kind of patents in India? Okay. And remember, patents are not universal. Every country will have its own patent laws and every organization has to comply with those laws. So likewise in India, we have something called as Indian Patents Act of 1970. Okay, this Indian Patents Act of 1970 will govern, will govern all the laws, will govern all the patents that would be given out by the Indian government. So this is the Indian Patents Act of 1970 and there would be a lot of upgradation to this particular act in the form of rules. Recently, we have 2021 Indian Patent Rules. Likewise, we have a lot of updation that's happening and every single clause will be a part of the rules going forward. For the But, but for the exam point of view, you don't have to go through the rules that are there and the updation that's happening on the rules. 
okay so this is the indian parents act of 1970 see coming to the two important terms that you will have to know before understanding the issue before understanding the issue one is called the evergreening of patents very important you will be studying this under wto in economics also international organizations you will have to know what is evergreening of patents <clears throat> see for example evergreening as the name itself suggests says that for example in the year 2023 let's assume a particular pharma company has come out with a medicine let's say dolo 650 has been discovered dolo 650 has been invented and this is the first time that the market is seeing something called as dolo 650 tablet <clears throat> and this particular patent would be granted for 20 years okay so which means 20 years this pharma company will have the monopoly in order to manufacture and sell this particular product that is dolo 650 2023 the invention has happened till 2043 till 2043 this company will have the patent that's a monopoly but what would these corporates do is that see at the end of the day all the corporates are struggling for profits all all they are looking for is profits so 2043 fast forward this particular company will come out with a small upgradation to this okay just like a firmware update that you would get for your smartphones okay just a small update okay just a small update would be given to dolo 650 and it would be called as dolo 651 and this patent the co the corporate thinks that this patent will be renewed for next 20 years so which means till 2063 there would be no there would be no competitor for the manufacturing of the dolo 650 tablet which was originally which became dolo 651 because of a small addition or deletion that happened Okay, so this is called as evergreening of patents. You can look at this. New forms of known substance, unless it differs significantly in the properties with regard to the efficacy, this is called as evergreening. And the Indian laws, <coughs> Indian laws, that is Indian Patent Act of 1970, will not allow evergreening of patents. Remember, very important prelim specific pointer. Indian Patents Act does not allow evergreening of patents. Second one, what is compulsory licensing? see <clears throat> compulsory licensing is something to deal with the johnson and johnson case that's happening now what johnson and johnson did johnson and johnson did was that by 2023 their patent the tenure would get expired so they wanted to have a small upgradation they wanted to do evergreening in the other matter they wanted to do some extra upgradation to the same bedaquinoline vaccine that was available for the tuberculosis but this petition or this request was rejected by the indian patents office this is what we have seen compulsory licensing deals with <clears throat> if a drug has been classified as a very important for the life okay very important strategically very important going forward just just like the case of covid-19 vaccine that we had covaxin covishield pfizer moderna these are the companies that actually came out with the covid-19 vaccines which were which which saved the uh, humanity on the planet so <clears throat> like this if at all a particular drug has been classified as a strategically very important one this particular drug the formula for this particular drug the technology for this particular drug compulsorily has to be given out and it should be given to the public and any company can go ahead and manufacture that particular medicine this is called as compulsory license compulsory licensing is permitted under the wto's trips agreement okay trade related aspects of the intellectual property rights that is the trip uh, trips agreement which regulates the entire patenting around the globe so compulsory licensing is legal or it is allowed under the wto's trips agreement similarly similarly indian patents office also or indian patents act of 1970 also gives permission for the compulsory licensing but the irony is till date till date it's been 2 years since we have uh, overcome the covid 19 till date the covid vaccines have not been a part of the compulsory licensing and even today moderna pfizer holds the largest number of patents with respect to the manufacturing of the covid-19 vaccines that is the irony so what is the case now <clears throat> what happened as i told you earlier johnson johnson wanted to have a small upgradation for its bedaquinoline vaccine that was available for the tuberculosis and uh, but the indian patents office rejected the offer rejected the request and now the johnson and johnson has to undergo compulsory licensing and this particular budaquelin vaccine would lose its monopoly that was that the johnson and johnson actually had this is with respect to the case so now just have a look at what is tuberculosis and how does tuberculosis spread and uh, how far how far are we from eliminating tuberculosis and what is our target 
Look at this. Tuberculosis is a bacterium disease. Just remember, it is not a viral disease. It is not a protozoan disease. It's a bacterial disease. UPSC will trick you with such statements. Okay, UPSC will give a statement. Tuberculosis is a disease that is caused by the virus. But that's an incorrect one. Tuberculosis is a bacterium disease caused by a bacteria called as mycobacterium tuberculosis. This is the bacteria. Tuberculosis is spread from person to person through air. This is the only reason what ma that makes tuberculosis the most contagious disease. Okay, this is the most contagious disease and, and India is struggling to fight against tuberculosis. As of 2018, most tuberculosis occurred regions were initially the first region is the Southeast Asian region. You can see here India has the world's highest world's highest tuberculosis burden with an estimated 26 lakh people 26 lakh people who are affected with tuberculosis because it spreads through air okay because it spreads through air and the density of the in, in, in indian population the density is high that is the main reason why india is the epicenter or a hot spot for tuberculosis and in order to fight this tuberculosis government has come out with these initiatives national strategic plan for the tuberculosis elimination by 2025 which means in next two years down the line now we are in 2023 by 2025 the indian government has planned to eliminate or eradicate tuberculosis from india tuberculosis harega desh jitega campaign okay a very innovative campaign that is there national tuberculosis elimination program that is active mission indra dhanush where the BCG vaccine, Bacillus colmidguarin BCG vaccine has been integrated into a part of the mission Indradhanush, which is also a flagship scheme by the government in order to eliminate the contagious diseases going ahead. So these are some of the initiatives by the government in order to eliminate tuberculosis. That's all for the day. If you have liked the video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to the Legacy IS YouTube channel for more such enriching content. Have a nice day. Thank you.